So, Robert Garcia and Alex Ariza aren't working anymore. Um, there was an interview, at least setback interview, Robert Garcia. He's always around the Oxnard uh, gym. And uh, Robert Garcia said in the interview that uh, he's no longer going to be with our in our camp anymore. And uh, Alex Ariza will be working with none of our, none of, none of our fighters anymore. Um, Al, uh, Robert Garcia said he's, uh, he's great at what he does. And when he first brought Alex there, he says, oh, fuck. The first thing I thought was we had the best team in the world. No one can beat us or compete against us and all that. But then uh, he said... Uh, even without, he says Ariz is good at what he does, but even without him, we were still successful. So he says little differences that happened made us split, and he didn't want to mention any differences, but uh, uh, definitely uh, he won't be working with Brandon Ariz, he won't be working with Marcus Maidana, he won't be working with Mikey Garcia, he won't be working with any of um, Robert Garcia's fighters. So something happened. And uh, it's up for us to speculate, because Robert Garcia never said anything, but what do you think happened, guys? Um, it could have been a couple things. It could have been uh, that um, Alex Ariza just, he wanted too much money, and uh, he didn't, uh, Robert Garcia didn't want to pay him that much. Um, that's pretty much... That could be the most possible one, um, because everyone, or there's other reasons too, like there's a, another one, like it could be maybe he caught uh, him shooting a needle in Brandon Rios' ass, I don't know, that's a good, some guy commented, but who knows, that could be it too. Uh, when Freddie Roach said the mysterious drinks, I don't know, that could be a concern of Robert Garcia too, how Brandon Rios tested uh, positive too. Stuff like that, but or it could be uh, maybe uh, they just didn't get along. They got in a fight or something, uh, an argument. Like you see, Alex Ariza seems he's got a reputation as a shady character and a guy, a hothead that uh, he kicked a disabled man in the chest. And obviously, we know Freddie Roach, obviously like said some stuff too and you can't really put all the blame on Ariza like um Freddie Rose did stuff too but he's a disabled man and you kicked him so anyway um who knows maybe uh he seems like he comes off as an asshole Alex, or Alex Ariza sometimes so who know maybe he uh said some things who knows and then another reason Maybe, again, with Freddie Roach and when he was working with Pacquiao, maybe Alex Ariza was becoming too much. He wanted to do too much. He wanted to be the strength and conditioning coach, but then he wanted to teach them boxing as well and tech and strategies, and maybe Garcia didn't want that. Alex is a strength and conditioning coach. That's what he should stick to. He shouldn't try to work on boxing strategy and, and boxing stuff. That's the coaches, that's Robert Garcia and Freddie Roach's job. So maybe he was trying to um, do too much and uh, take over Robert Garcia's job or something. And uh, kind of Robert Garcia didn't, didn't want that. So uh, pretty much though, it could be any of those, but obviously people are going to be more thinking, oh, maybe it was he was giving them substances and Robert Garcia caught them or something like that. But... People probably thinking that, but for part personally, it could have just been money. Who knows? But or it could have been like they just didn't get along. That's another thing, cause it is kind of how like he didn't. He wasn't even that long with Robert Garcia, and he split up with Freddie Roach. So something's going on, maybe with the guy. I don't know, but anyway, um, could have just maybe he uh, charges too much. Who knows? It's just like. Robert Garcia says he's good at his job. It's just like you hire someone to do your floors in your house. He does a good job and uh, does a really good job. Floors look nice. 
and then you need your upstairs floors done. You call him back, he wants too much, you don't want him anymore. You call another guy. It's not that the guy wasn't good at what he did, he just he charged too much, so you don't want him anymore. But who knows? For me, may, something may be going on. He seems kind of shady a bit. And uh, maybe he just wanted too much money. Maybe he's kind of an asshole. And uh, Raul Garcia got in an argument. And then he said, that's it. I don't want you here. I don't know. Maybe something like that. But what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's something to do with him giving the fighters some weird substances? Him uh, just being an asshole? Him charging too much? Or him trying to do things that aren't his job, like being a boxing coach. Let me know what you think happened. Um, why did Robert Garcia um, fire Alex Ariza and cut him from all his fighters? Why did why aren't they working together anymore? Uh, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.